being uh, inquisitive researchers that you are, this is my website, isc.temple.edu slash economics. You can go to my resume, it's toward the bottom, a long list of publications, articles that I've written, and for many of them there are hot spots, you can link to them and read things that I've written. Probably the most controversial paper in here is this market segmentation and child adoption. The most creative is tradable hospital admissions permits. The most intellectually challenging paper is the paper with George Lady, Falsifying Economic Models, about which I'll have a few things to say today. Your class materials, you can click on classes and click on uh, Economics 8009. And so if you click on that, you come to a portal of my own design. I don't use Blackboard for anything except recording and posting your grades uh, to record your homework and test grades. And I do use it for email also. Third text is Green's Econometrics, published by Prentice Hall. It's the leading econometrics textbook in the United States at the graduate level, probably the leading textbook in the world at the graduate level. There's none that comes even close in terms of both breadth and depth of coverage. Sometimes it can be a challenge to read, but it's worth the effort. Dr. Buck, if we yes. use the fifth edition, is that okay? Or? Yeah, there are only small changes between the editions. So if you buy the sixth or the fifth or the fourth edition, probably it's not going to matter very much. Since I don't use the problems that are in the book as homework, I write problem sets of my own design. The reason for that is that I grade the homework, and I, just, I discovered several years, more than several years ago, that uh, somehow the students always seem to get a hold of the answer book. <laughs> And so that a few students in class have the answer book and they don't share it with the others. And so those few students do a great job on the homework and the others struggle mightily getting it done. So that seems to be that that was conferring an unfair advantage on uh, some people that others couldn't share. Assignments are not coming directly out of the book, except maybe on rare occasions. There are a few problems in there that I really like that I've used from time to time. The next item on here, not required, MathCAD. I can't impose my will on that many people. MathCAD, how many people have ever used a symbolic math processor, computer algebra program? Yeah. If you've used uh, Mathematica or Mat MATLAB, pretty good computer algebra program. So Mathematica, MATLAB, MathCAD, and Maple. Most of the symbolic math programs have Maple as the, the underlying driver. So MathCAD is one of those. I encourage people to do that, get that. The reason is that it, uh, it's very powerful, those computer algebra programs. They do a lot of tedious math, symbolically, error-free. Six or seven years ago, I started working on a project with a former graduate student of mine on how to value defaultable bonds. And we got to the point where we had to solve a system of differential equations that were, couldn't, couldn't be solved analytically but they were easy to solve numerically in MathCAD. So we did that. We worked on that paper in MathCAD quite a while. It was something that we never could have done. It would have taken us weeks and weeks and weeks to figure out how to do it if we had a program. Uh, and both of us would know how to do that kind of thing. We had done it in the past, but when there's a ready, easy to use tool, do it. So I encourage you to get MathCAD. I won't explicitly require you to use it in here, but you'll find that for certain parts of the homework, it can be very useful. And certainly in some of your other classes, it would be very useful to make your homework go by much faster if you don't have to do all the computer algebra. Yeah. MATLAB does. Uh, in fact, I use MATLAB to uh, write a paper on if you used a uh, multivariate plus only distribution of anything you write to an acting like an algorithm to estimate the model parameters or anything in that life. Uh, the advantage of something like MathCAD and Mathematica is that it has a what you see is what you get interface as a, a graphical user interface so that you can type the you type you create an integral sign and understand exactly what it's doing. And also, uh, my lecture notes on the web have many MathCAD uh, worksheets in them. Uh, so, Daniel Falkenstein, so some of you may know him, he's in the PhD finance program. 
he found, he didn't want to spend the hundred and whatever it was, twenty dollars on MathCAD, so he found on the web something called Maximum, which is freeware, shareware. So you could, you could use that too if you don't want to spring 